Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. We are back with another banger, baby. If you guys check out what's behind me right now, it says NBA 2K18 Duo Archetypes and Badges made by Dunk Ishkan or whatever. I don't know. That's the, that, I don't know if that's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I don't know. I don't know if it's YouTube. I don't know what it is. But it says sorted by a number of total badges. We about to check this thing out. I'm about to just get off the screen because it's no place for me on this screen. I am not worthy to be on this screen. So we about to check this whole entire list out without a face cam. I know you guys want me to react. I know you want to see my crazy face. But for right now, guys. We gonna get up off screen, then game. All right, guys. So to start this thing out, man, we have a small forward position with a total of twenty-seven badges. All right. Now this is a post-scoring pass and ball handling. The key badges are in gold, and relentless finisher is silver, and it has thirteen other badges. So these are all the key badges that this person has. Now, if you check out a uh, small forward pass and ball handling, pass and ball handling, they get Hall of Fame badges and five gold badges as well and nine silver badges. So it looks like to me when you pick both of the archetypes to be the same, you can get the Hall of Fame badges. Now, check this out. Rebounding and passing ball handling help break starter here for a small forward. Now, he only has one Hall of Fame badge, but he has seven gold badges. All right. Now, that's kind of crazy to me because if you think about it up here, the post scoring and bat and passing ball handling doesn't have any Hall of Fame badges. So that's crazy insane. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the list down a little bit, guys. Check this out. A point guard, shot creating and three-point shooting, tireless score, difficult shots, mid-range dead eye, and then it has five other gold badges. Now, for right now, man, that small forward looks like it has the most Hall of Fame badges. Now, we're going to move the list down a little bit more. And I'm looking, man, and it doesn't look like anybody else has five Hall of Fame badges so far. So let me go ahead and move down some more. You guys can take screenshots as I move down, you know, and I'm still looking, man. I'm still looking for more. Uh, okay, we found one, baby. Point guard, passing ball handling, passing ball handling, which was the build that I had last year. Has five Hall of Fame badges. Five gold badges, three silver badges, and six bronze badges for only a total of nineteen badges. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't. Mm -mm, that's not making much sense to me. No. Now I know I won't be creating a, a passing and ball handling a build. Just because of the simple fact that shooting was very hard, but I need to know what them five gold badges are. If their if their badges are like for shooting and stuff like that, then I might make that build. But other than that, no, no, no. Now check this out, guys. Oh man, eighteen badges, but for this center for rebounding, hustle rebounder, brick wall, break starter, bruiser, and put back king. This build right here will probably be the build that I make for uh you know grinding like pro am and stuff like that to be a, a team helper you know what i'm saying to get them good grades and stuff like that now check out this shooting guard defending driving and finishing you have 10 gold badges all right you but the top five are defensive stopper pickpocket pick dodger charge card and posterizer that means that this defender can molly wop you and get back down low on on d but what that shooting like bro that's that's the main problem bro what's that shooting like now if you guys check this out man a small forward three-point shooting three-point shooting gets catch and shoot d range that i limitless range and corner specialist for four hall of fame badges but gets pick and popper gold so if they pick and they pop out 
you can shoot the three. So a pick and pop player would probably be like a Kevin, not Kevin, not Kevin Durant specifically, no. But what I'm saying is, if Golden State ran the pick and pop, and Kevin Durant would probably be what all of this is. Now, I know this is probably not a Kevin Durant build because Kevin Durant is godly. But, you know, let's check out a possible build that I would want as point guard. Let's check this out. So, a driving and finishing and three-point shooting point guard, which is somebody that I would love to be. But I don't see any dribbling. Posterizer, relentless finisher, acrobat, one-man fast break, and teardropper are the key gold badges. You get eight of those, six silver, and 12 bronze with a total of 26 badges. That's a lot of badges. But let's see this. You get shot creating and defending. Ooh, you get mid-range dead eye, teardropper, tireless scorer, difficult shots, ankle breaker, at least at gold here for shot creating and defending. You don't even have dribbling in your, your sense, but you get an ankle breaker badge. That's not bad. A point guard shooting and defending three-pointer. Corner specialist. Deep range dead eye. Limitless range. Corner specialist. But you get a silver tireless score. That's pretty good shooting, but I don't see any real defending badges as your, you know what I'm saying, for your secondary skill. It's not really good. Um, Let's see what else we got. Point guard. Shot creating and three-point shooting. You get tireless score, difficult shots, and mid-range dead eye on Hall of Fame. Ah, we need at least a, a deep range dead eye or a corner specialist or something like that if you're gonna have your secondary as a three-point shooting and your shot creating at that. But let's check this out: three-point shooting and rebounding, catch and shoot, deep range, limitless range, corner specialist. This bill right here for rebounding sounds dope. But check this out. Three-point shooting and driving and finishing has somewhat of the similar type badges set up. And even on the three-point shooting and driving and finishing, you have two more silver badges than bronze badges over the three-point shooter and, and uh, rebounder. So this build right here sounds a little promising, but I need to know what that ankle breaker is like, man. I need ankle breaking, bro. Now let's check out some more. You have defending and three-point, nah. Driving, post scoring, nah. Driving and finishing, shot creating, nah, not really. Shot creating, three, nah. Three-pointer, post scoring, nah. All right, what else we got? Passing and then three-point shooting. Dimer, pick and roll, flashy. Nah, I don't know. Ankle, the ankle breaker gold sound like a savior, bruh. Sound like a savior. Now, let's let's check out some more. Driving, finishing, driving, finisher. Oh, my God. Look at that, man. Look at them Hall of Fame badges, man. God, Lee. Posterizer and Acrobat and Relentless Finisher for the driving, finishing at the duel. Okay, let's see. Let's go down to point guards more. Okay, this is the one that everybody has their eye on, I know. Three-point shooting and passing and ball handling. You get a total of 21 badges. Only five of them are bronze. You get gold corner specialist, catch and shoot, deep range, limitless range, and tireless scorer. Now, I'm guessing since passing ball handling is your secondary, those eight silver badges will probably be the pick and roll, the dimer, the ankle breaker, you know, stuff like that. And I don't know what the other five will probably be. But that seems like a lot of people will probably go for that. But if you look here on the passing and ball handling with shot creator, you really just worry about passing mainly. And, yeah, it's all about passing here, man. Shot creating. Uh, I don't know about that. Nope. Um, three point. Uh, oh, no, that's a small forward, though. So let's go to the point guard. Driving. And, oh, man, passing and ball handling and driving and finish. You get the Hall of Fame ankle breaker. That's, that's pretty good. But we need to find out more on that. Passing and ball handling on. Okay, that's all gold. Passing ball and shot creating ankle breaker. No. Shot creating, shot creating. That mid range dead eye Hall of Fame will be high key with difficult shots and tireless score and teardropper. You you probably will be Oh, and you get a gold ankle breaker with that? Oh man, this might be a this might be a crazy build for people that don't care about three point shooting, bruh. People that don't care about three point shooting for this point guard shot creating, shot creating. Oh man, that might be the one. 
Um, let's see what else we got. Now this is where you know bad like the the actual badges amount start getting very scarce, man. Passing and passing give you the of course all those I already showed you guys that uh, three point shooting and three point shooting give you guys all less, but you do get tireless scorer. So if you do a couple dribble moves, you still might be able to hit one of those uh, Hall of Fame uh, bad shots. But as far as you know, me creating the point guard, man, I don't I don't know what I want to create, man. I really don't. I know that I wanted my guy to shoot threes, be able to dunk on people, and be able to ankle break a little bit. So I'm guessing, like, my my dude might have to have, like, you know, maybe the, the, the passing and ball handling with three-point shot, or he might have to have the three-point shot and uh, passing and ball handling. And I just, you know, trigger my, my combinations together better since I'll be able to shoot better. But man, look at but I it's just it's crazy to me how it looks like they want to bring the small forward back, man. Look how many small forward builds have over 20 badges, guys. And when you come down, look at this. More. More look. I'm gonna show look at this, guys. They only have one small forward build with under 20 badges. I'm I'm gonna say it again, guys. They only have one small forward build with under 20 badges. Every other small forward build you see on screen has over 20 badges. Do you understand what I'm saying to you guys? Let's check out small forward before I get up out of here, man, because this is scaring me. This is really scaring me, man. Um, let's see. Defending three-point. No. Defending passing. No. Uh, rebound. Okay, driving and finishing and three-point shooting, bro. Okay, so they give you the, the posterizer and all that. Let's check out. Okay, one man fast break poster out loud. City acrobat. Okay. Passing ball handling, passing driving. Okay, they give you all that. I want to see. This the one that I want to see. Corner specialist, catch and shoot, deep range that I limitless gold, picking, popper, gold. 23 badges total for that small forward. I don't know, man. I might have to bring David Carter back, bro. The six seven beast back, bro. I don't know, man. Point guard, small forward as my main. I don't know which one I'm gonna have to do. Also, guys, um, Ronnie Two K told me this is a big gym. Um, the road to ninety nine. He was telling me that it's one player. Um, as far as like you know, cr you creating a bunch of different players and then going online thinking that the the rep and stuff will carry over. He was telling me that he believes that it's only for one player. So if you going on like a road to ninety nine, you can only do it I think with one player because that's that player's neighborhood and world and stuff like that. It's not set up. Whereas though, when you load up a different player, that same player has access to the same stuff you have online, like your sneakers and you know and all that. Like the rep and stuff changes when you load in a different player. All right, guys, um, let me know what you think inside the comment section. What build will you be creating for this year in NBA 2K18? Let me know in the comment section. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through one last time in case you guys missed any screenshots throughout the video. This is your boy IKC signing out. Now holla at you on the next one. Peace.